In this video, we will be learning how to encode a message using the bifid cipher. Here's a typical problem. Encode the message Andy Reid using the bifid cipher with the keyword eagles. This is going to be a two-step process. The first step is going to be to make what's called the Polybius square. A Polybius square is a 5x5 five five grid. It has five rows, and the rows run horizontally, numbered 1 through 5, and five columns, and the columns run vertically, also numbered 1 through 5. What we want to do is we want to fill in the alphabet in these 25 squares, and we're going to use the keyword to do that. First, notice that there are only 25 positions in this square, and there are 26 letters in our alphabet. So what do we do with that extra letter? Well, what we do is we get rid of the letter J. If there are ever any J's in our messages, we're going to replace those with the letter I. The letter I and J look pretty similar, and also the letter J is not very common in English. So the first thing we need to do is take our keyword, which remember is the word eagles, and start filling those letters into this square. That's how the keyword affects this cipher. So different keywords will give us different squares, and so that'll be a different way to encode the message. So starting in the position in the upper left, the row 1, column 1 position, we're going to start writing the word eagles, filling in the letters across the rows. But we want to make sure that we never repeat any letters. So when we get to the second E in the word eagles, we don't write that letter. We just skip over it and go straight to the S. That's because we already have an E in the upper left-hand corner. Once we've got our keyword filled in, now we're going to fill in the rest of the alphabet. So starting in the very next position, which in this case is row 2, column 1, we're going to start back at the beginning of the alphabet and fill in the rest of the alphabet in this square. So row 2, column 1 is going to get a B, row 2, column 2 is going to get a C, and so on. And the finished square looks like this. Notice again that we did not use the letter J, and we also ended with the letter Z down in the row 5, column 5 position. So we've got our entire alphabet here with no letters missing except for J and no letters duplicated. So now how do we use this Polybius square to encode our message? So we're going to write the letters of our message, leaving some space so that we have enough room to work. So we've got eight letters, Andy Reid. If our message had had an odd number of letters, we would have had to add an extra letter at the end. Usually we use the letter X or perhaps the letter Q, usually a letter that isn't very common in English, so that if the message is decoded and we see that extra letter at the end, we're not confused in thinking that that should be part of our message. But in this case, we've got eight letters, that's an even number, so our method will work with our message just the way it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to look up each of these letters in our square. The first letter in our message is letter A. So we're going to ask ourselves, where is the letter A in our Polybius square? Well, as you see it's highlighted here, it's in row 1, column 2. And we always use the row number and then the column number. So we're going to write 1 and then a 2, and since we're encoding this message, we're going to write those numbers vertically. So we're going to write the 1 and then the 2 underneath. And then we keep doing this. So where's the letter N? Well, the letter N is in row 3, column 4. D is in row 2, column 3. Y is in row 5, column 4. R is in row 4, column 3. E is in row 1, column 1. I is in row 3, column 1. And D is in row 2, column 3. So now we've got these eight groups of numbers, and those are the numbers that we need to focus on. So we don't need the original message anymore, and we're going to put aside the Polybius score. We'll need to come back to that a little later. But let's just focus on these numbers. What we're going to do is we're going to separate these into two rows of numbers. And then we're going to write the first row next to the second row. We're going to move the second row up so that it's sitting next to the first row. And we're going to group these in groups of two. So we're going to think of these as the pairs 1, 3, 2, 5, 4, 1, and so on as you see here. And then we're going to move that second row of numbers up next to the first row so that we've got one big long row of pairs of numbers. So now we've got eight pairs of numbers and we're going to use our Polybius square again to look up those numbers. So the first pair of numbers we have is 1, 3. So what letter is in row 1, column 3? Well, that's the letter G. The next pair of numbers we have is 2, 5. What letter is in row 2, column 5? Well, that's the letter H. Row 4, column 1 is the letter P. 3, 2 gives us K. 2, 4 gives us F. 3, 4 gives us N. 3, 1 gives us I. And 1, 3 gives us G. So the final encoded message is G-H-P-K-F-N-I-G.